terrific win at the weekend. Must be very happy with that position. Yeah, uh, you know, we were, we were delighted with the win. Uh, it was a knockout game. I thought we got back to, to close to our best in terms of our high tempo rugby. That's what we wanted. We wanted to play at a high pace and, and, and try and blow them away. And we achieved that to a certain extent. Um, you know, we just had a video session there and there, there are still some imperfections. Um, our set piece was a bit weak at times and uh, we'll be looking to correct that because we think we have bigger challenges coming up ahead. Well, two, well, certainly two huge games, this one at the weekend. Uh, the way we look at it from now on, it's all a knockout. Uh, this weekend, we have to win to uh, get a home semi and uh, from then on, it's knockout games. So, uh, you know, it's really the business end of the season and uh, we're backing ourselves to hopefully step up to it again. Yeah, I mean, it's actually the only one point between you and Glasgow on the table, and Ospreys are right next to trying to qualify for the, yeah. for the, for the finals. Yeah, so I mean, they, they've got something to play for as well. And uh, obviously, the last couple of years, we've, we've struggled against them. They're a good side. We know what they bring. Uh, and we know we're going to have to probably be better than we were last week to, to beat them. Uh, how surprised, or was it a surprise about Joe getting the job? No. <laughs> uh, you know, obviously, I hadn't had a confirm, but. I read the media like everyone else, and uh, you guys were pretty convinced he was going, so that was enough for me. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a feeling, I mean, it probably would have been a travesty if he didn't get the job. He, he's, he's definitely been the most consistent coach in Ireland the last few years. He knows the setups here, he knows the players, um, and he has a really strong uh, track record with Leinster. So, uh, you know, the right man got the job, and I'm delighted for him, and, and uh, wish him every success with it. And your involvement in both camps um, it, how different will it be for him? Uh, it will be very different. I mean, a club is every week, you're, you're, you're working with the players day in, day out, um, and everyone knows each other really well. It's a case of getting that consistency with international. It, it's little spurts during the year, and you've got to bring the guys together. You've got to turn them into a team, and uh, you've got to try and put systems in place and get guys out of the, the frame of mind of province rugby. Um, so, yeah, it's really difficult from that point of view, but um, I mean, he's, he's a really smart guy. He's done incredibly well with us, and uh, I don't think he would have taken on the challenge unless he knew he could be successful with it. Definitely.